Hey guys, hello Ijima Claude, the lead council for Namde Kano. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hype Up, on Saturday said, the Igbo must go agitation is a direct incitement of terrorism and genocide. Ijimako, however, noted that self-determination is not. Posting on X, Ijimako charged the Nigerian government to stop what he termed the unfair trial of Kano. He also called for the release of Namdi Kano and all prisoners of conscience. According to Ijimako, facts, Igbo must go is a direct and a clear incitement of terrorism and genocide. Hashtag self determination is not. Stop the unfair trial and free Mazen Namdi Kano and all prisoners of conscience. It is simple. The it is simple, the right thing to do, and it's long overdue. An ex-user had announced plans to force Igbo to exit Lagos State under the banner of Igbo must go. The user the user claimed that a protest would be staged from August 20 to 30 to this effect, but Governor Babajide Sanwulu of Lagos State had condemned the planned protest while calling for unity. See, this is not the, just the issue of calling for unity. Somebody started this. You get, I think what the government should do is to fish out those people who started this Igbo must go campaign. Because if they don't do anything concerning this, if they don't do anything concerning this, they are still going to continue on this. Talking about this, Igbo must go. You understand? If they don't do anything about it, this will continue. This is exactly what happened during uh, the presidential election and the governorship election in Lagos State. Some persons started this Igbo, Igbo people should go, uh, started Igbos are not allowed to vote for their preferred candidates. And if they want to try that, they should do that, then they will see. You understand? They threatening the Southeasterners in Lagos State. But the threat does, it was not just ordinary threat because at the end of the day, it was all carried out. We saw it everywhere on social media. When people was attacked, you know, in their polling units because they are not supporting their preferred candidates, things like that. We saw after or before after the the election, uh, after uh, uh, election, they they announced that Peter will be won in Lagos. Majority of Igbo traders, you know, they lost their businesses. Their business places was attacked. And everything. The president elect then the governor of um, the governor of uh, uh, Lagos State said nothing about it because they know all those things we are doing was just for their for their own favor for their own benefit. So they did nothing about it. Even those people who started who orchestrated this Igbo must go Igbo should go back to their place. I didn't know the government today talking about bio on Anoga. The special, uh, is it the special, what's in the piece of the special advisor on information and strategy to present Bola Tenubo. They started all this. He's still in power. So who are those? So when people say it's the presidency that is, you know, orchestrating this, Igbo must go. People will go just to think small and think and very well. Those people who started this Igbo must go campaign in Lagos, what happened to them? Is it the MC Olomo that's hopefully threatening Igbos? And after that threat, the threat was carried out and nothing happened to them. Nothing. Nothing, even to the extent that the Nigerian police in Lagos State was defending MC Olomo and all that. So you see, because it has happened before and nothing happened, so that is why it's happening again. 
They will not see it as anything. They have not arrested anybody. They have not even called anybody, you know, for questioning. But they will just come out and talk. No, uh, Nigeria, we, 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 we must live in unity. How? How? Why are we pretending to ourselves? And all this Igbo must go, Igbo must go, this Igbo do this and that. If Igbo come off for of Lagos, the Lagos, the Lagosians, they go fit survive. Nobody they, they stay. Only one person not they stay. That is why God created husband and wife. Because he knows that the man needs the woman. The woman needs the man. So all these ones when they do Igbo go back to your place. Let's, for example, that Igbo decided to sell off, you know their businesses, and sell off their properties, then leave Lagos. Would they be able to cope? That is the question. And they, they should not still forget that. We still have, we still have Southeasterners in other regions of the country. So definitely, this is, they are just calling for the country's division. If Igbos cannot stay in other people's uh, region, that means other people's regions cannot see stay in their region because there must be a retaliation. You get it? There must be a retaliation. So we are just waiting. We pray nothing happens because the protest was was supposed to start 28th of August. That is this month uh, to 30th of August. They say now they will take drive. It was come out for, for Lagos and other region of the country. I beg my people at the drop-in for you. How now see this matter? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below in the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.